Good to be here. I have a little cold. I have a cold because uh, I have a shower in my house. I don't know if anyone else has this. Where it takes me an hour to take a shower. I have the shower where you you cannot get the accurate temperature setting. I don't know. Yeah, do you know how annoying that is? My my shower will be too cold. You know, so I'll turn it a, a millimeter. Yeah, ping, ping, ping. Too hot. There's no middle. Yeah. The, only, the only time it's the right temperature is while it's on its way to being the wrong temperature. Yeah. You, you, you got to soap up and wait for it. Oh, no, oh there it is. There it is. Uh, ah! You can't turn the knob any less. I've tried every method of turning that knob as little as possible. I, you know, sometimes I just brush up against the knob. I, uh, uh, And then it has this weird thing where I'll turn it hotter and it gets a little colder first and then hot. Yeah. Like, like the cold water has to back up and get a running start. Yeah. Hot. Hot. And then I lost my memory in the shower. You ever have, this is very frightening. You have a memory lapse in your shower, you're daydreaming, and then you have to try to remember if you just shampooed your hair or not. I have backtrack in my own shower. Oh, let me let me figure this out. Let me see. I came in the shower. All right. What did I do first? I sang patches. Okay. And then what? You know what I do? I bring a checklist into my shower now. Yeah. It's easy. You just check it off as you go. All right. I did that. All right. I'll do that next. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna have time for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that twice tomorrow. Yeah, the men know what that is. Men know. Ah, you can't blame us. Men, we were given a gift, and we use it. We have the gift of fantasy. That's our thing. You know, women can fantasize too, but, oh, you have no idea what men are capable of. Uh, oh, we have a, a cast of thousands we can call. Uh, there's too many. There's people in there you don't even want half the time. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, uh, my mother get here! My mother's in here! Get out of here! Security! No, oh, no, I'm not hungry! I'm not hungry! No, oh, Ma, wait in the car. You don't want to see this. You know, your fantasy... Your fantasy needs a director. That's what it needs. Someone, someone who can direct, who knows what everyone's part is. Someone who could just take charge. Uh, gather around, everybody. He, he just got in the shower. Showtime's gonna be any minute now. <laughs> Look alive. We have a new cast member with us today. Hi, uh, you want to introduce yourself? Julie, hi. And how did you get here? Oh, he saw you bend down in the subway. Well, that's it. Yeah. yeah, that's all it takes. Welcome to the crew, Julie. Are you bisexual? Well, you are now. Oh, it's, it's so true, it's pathetic. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about my kids. I'm a family man. I have children. I have a two and a half year old daughter and twin six month old boys in my house. Yeah. No, 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 no. Those are single, single people clapping. My parents are like, oh. Anybody have twins? Anybody know what that's like? Twins? Do you? How old are they? Four? Boys? Boys or girls? Girls? Identical? Yeah, mine are identical. I think it's better. I like that they're identical, because for one thing, you save money on photographs, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's the way I look at it. Uh, hey, uh, there's my little boy. And I got another one, just like it, I just told him. Well, you need another picture, it's the same. <laughs> Nobody can tell them apart. My, me and my wife are the only ones who can tell them apart. My mother comes over to babysit, and she, she gets me mad. She loves to babysit, but then she panics. She, she's afraid she's gonna keep feeding the same one over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. She's starting to worry me. We want to go away for a week, and I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to come home and find one big, fat baby. Uh, hey, Bob, they were identical when we left. Oh, come on. 
What do you mean nothing happened? It's Siskel and Ebert now. <laughs> Look at that. The other day, she came over to babysit, and she made it through okay, because one of them had a little scratch on his nose. Yeah, that's what she used as her landmark. Yeah. But you know, I'll tell you what frightens me. I don't think the scratch was there when we left. Really, yeah. I know it's a horrible thought, but I just, I think she got a little confused. Oh, okay. You're Matthew. You're Matthew. Matthew. Matthew has a scratch, and he's a crybaby. Shut up. It's a lot of work, isn't it? It's great, but boy, you never rest in my house. I don't have a moment's rest. I find myself making little excuses just to get out of the house, you know? I, hey, anybody, uh, anybody need anything uh, from the Motor Vehicle Bureau? Anything at all? Uh, let's register something. I'll be home, I'll be home in a minute. I'm just gonna apply for jury duty on the way out, that's all. Thank you very much, folks, you a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you.